Welcome to all our handball friends at home. It is a pleasure for us to welcome you to the final tournament draw to celebrate the men's EHF Euro 2022 taking place in Hungary and Slovakia from the 13th to 30th of January 2022. We still have to wait 252 days until the first match day, but I'm already looking forward to all the top matches. A warm welcome from my side as well. My name is Edith Salai, and together with my colleague Viktor Tihany, we will be your hosts for the EHF Euro 2022 final tournament draw today. It is again done without a live audience. However, we have plenty of entertainment for you, including a surprise for the players of the EHF Euro 2022. Let's have a little sneak peek. <laughs> Guys, I, I have a little surprise for you. I am curious to see the surprise in store for the players. We will see this at the very end of the draw, so we have to leave you a little longer in suspense. As always, we have the presidents give their warm welcome to all our viewers. The president of the Slovakian Handball Federation, Jaroslav Holesha, would like to heartily welcome you. Dear Handball family, we are impatiently counting days to the beginning of the Man Handball European Championship that will take place in Hungary and in Slovakia. We trust that you are equally enthusiastic and impatient since we know that in a short time the grouping of 24 national teams will be announced and we will know which teams will be welcomed by fans in Slovakia and in Hungary. The preparation for the championship are well on the way, despite the fact that not all is the way we would imagine it to be one or two years ago. The plans were grand, but due to the COVID pandemic, our hands were and continue to be tied, thus affecting some projects' realization. Be assured that our objective is the best possible organization and promotion of the championship. Our goal not only as organizers, but primarily as fans of handball, is to be able to welcome fans from all parts of Europe who will be able to enjoy matches and other accompanying tournament action offered by our project Watch Games See More. We would like to congratulate all teams that were able to qualify for this championship and wish them much success. Friends, we look forward to seeing you in January. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holesha. And I am sure the handball fans are looking forward to visiting Kosice and Bratislava. And now let's go to Hungary and listen to the welcome words of the president of the Hungarian Handball Federation, Mate Kocsis. Dear handball friends, there are only eight months left until the demands EHF Euro 2022 and now, on the way, we have reached another milestone. Today we will find out where the top 24 national teams will play in the group stage of the EHF Euro and it will also be revealed which countries can Hungary and Slovakia receive fans from. We all are excited about the draw as organizers as well as fans. We are now the difficulties and challenges we face in the world of sport these days. Nevertheless, our determination remains the same. We want to be host of the best EHF Euro of all time and we are very much looking forward to the fans returning to the stands. Congratulations for all teams qualified for the tournament. I wish a successful preparation for the teams and see you in January 2022. And also a big thank you to Mr. Kocsis for your kind words. The last welcome speech will come from the president of the European Handball Federation, Michael Widerer.
dear organizing committee representatives, dear media representatives, dear team officials and players, and as well, dear fans. On behalf of the European Handball Federation, I welcome you to the final tournament draw of the men's EHF Euro 2022 in Hungary and Slovakia. Drawing 24 teams into six groups means to define thrilling matches even in the first phase of the tournament. And addressing the fans, we do hope that we see as many of you as possible in our tournament and in the five venues. I wish all the participating teams all the best for the tournament in, in January 2022. And I want to finalize with the slogan, watch matches and see more. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Wiederer. Now that we are acquainted with the presidents of the hosting nations, let's have a look at what their five host cities have to offer us in January If we can believe the beautiful and spectacular footage, the whole cities of the Man's EHF Euro 2022 are a must to visit. Victor, which city do you want to see more of? Well, I have never been to Košice, so that would be a great city to explore. Definitely, for me too as well. Before we move on to the technical part of the draw, it is a time to present this EHF Euro's digital campaign called Battle for the Throne. <laughs> It has already been launched on the EHF social channels and we will see much more of it as we get closer to the Euro. 24 teams will be vying for glory at the EHF Euro 2022. After 18 days and 65 matches, the Kings will be crowned in Budapest. The battle is on. Watch history unfold. Handball was born in Europe in the time of kings and queens. As the modern game emerged, teams were formed, players became the new kings, and the sport conquered the world. Now, every two years, handball returns to its origins, to Europe, with 24 nations fighting, united by much more than a sport. Honour, loyalty, passion, and respect. In 2022, the next kings of Europe will battle for the throne. Watch history unfold. I don't know about you, but I'm extremely looking forward to witnessing the king's battles through exciting games for that beloved spot of the throne. Well, so am I. But now let's get familiar with the technical part of the draw procedure. To give our handball friends a good overview of the technical side of the draw, which can be tricky sometimes, a video is prepared for you with a detailed explanation. 
50 nations registered for the different qualifiers phases in order to fight for a place at the final tournament of the men's EHF Euro 2022 in Hungary and Slovakia. Based on the results of the qualifiers phase one, the Emerging Nations Championship and the men's EHF Euro 2020, teams had the chance to qualify for the qualifiers phase two. In the qualifiers phase two, 32 teams were fighting for the 20 remaining places at the men's EHF Euro 2022. Hungary, Slovakia as organizing countries, Spain as defending champion, as well as runner-up Croatia were qualified directly for the final tournament. A total of 24 teams will participate at the men's EHF Euro 2022 event. The 24 teams are listed alphabetically. Based on the qualification groups and the ranking of the EHF Euro 2022, the 24 teams are seeded in four pots for the draw. The organizing countries have the right to allocate one team to each preliminary round group due to spectators' interest. Therefore, Slovenia will play in Group A in Debrecen, Hungary will play in Group B in Budapest, Croatia will play in Group C in Tseged, Germany will play in Group D in Bratislava, the Czech Republic will play in Group E also in Bratislava, and lastly, Slovakia will play in Group F in Kosice. As the next step, the remaining teams will be drawn from pot one into the remaining groups B, E and F. The draw will continue with drawing the five remaining teams of pot two into group A, C, D, E and F. Next, the four remaining teams of pot three will be drawn into group A to D. Last, the six teams of pot four will be drawn into groups A to F. The men's EHF Euro 2022 is complete when all teams have been drawn into each group with their group number and the order of games for the preliminary round has been determined. We wish all the participating teams good luck for the draw, as well as for the men's EHF Euro 2022 in Hungary and Slovakia. Let's have a look at the complete overview with the six preceded nations. In Group A, we have Slovenia. In Group B, host nation Hungary. Group C, Croatia. Group D, Germany. Group E, Czech Republic. And the other host nation, Slovakia, in Group F. We have now come to the moment we have all been waiting for, the actual draw. Therefore, I am pleased to invite EHF President Michael Wiederer and Secretary General of EHF Martin Holzleitner to come to stage. Welcome, Mr. President. Welcome, gentlemen. It's great to have you here. Welcome. For each pot, they will be supported by one top players of the EHF Euro 2022. As a first step, we will start with the main part of the draw by drawing pot one. Before each pot, we have interviewed some of the star players of the upcoming men's EHF Euro 2022. First, please welcome Luka Stepancic from the national team of Croatia. We were curious about what was his most important life lesson during his injury last year. What is most special about playing in the Croatian national team? If Croatia goes all the way to the final again, who would he like to play against? The most important lesson is that uh, you always uh, can count on your family, they will always be there for you, your biggest support, and that uh, without health uh, it's really hard to do anything. So, uh, yeah, consistency, uh, keep it up, you have to believe in your dreams and uh, keep pushing forward. That's, that's what I learned in the last one year. 
to play for Croatian national team is always special experience. Uh, this is why all the kids start to play any sport, especially handball, to get to that first national team. Uh, for many, many years back, maybe 30 years back, the Croatian national team has some special energy, special cult of the team. Uh, we are trying to keep it, to get it on younger guys who are coming and uh, it's always a pleasure to make our people in the country, in, in our home, uh, happy. For this one month, every year, they, they can forget about all the problems and just cheer for us and enjoy with us. If we go to the final, we really... You don't care who you play with. It means that uh, you beat all who were on your way to get to the final. So it will be two best teams. Well, uh, if the... the, the arenas will be full if the people will get back uh, then I can say maybe I don't want to play against Hungary because uh, they will have great great support also uh, I expect a lot of support from our side it's very close to Croatia and then but yeah if we are in the final doesn't matter who we play thank you Luca and welcome on stage now let's start by drawing pot one. The following six teams feature in pot one. Spain, Norway, Germany, Croatia, Slovenia, Portugal. First, we will start with drawing the teams from the red balls, and then we will move on with drawing the groups from the blue balls. So first of all, please, Luca, choose a red ball. Here you go. Norway. It's Norway. And now we are looking for a group to Norway. And the group is? Norway goes to group F. Group F to Slovakia. Luca, please another red wall. The next team is Spain. Spain. Title holder, our yeah. defending champion. Very excited to see which group Spain gets. It was a very fast choice. Drum roll. Goes to group E. Okay, so the Czech Republic has been joined by the title holder Spain. And the last one. It will be not a big surprise. Let's hope it's Portugal. It is Portugal. Portugal and the last blue ball. With the name of the group. No Goes surprise group there. B. It's group B. So Portugal is going to meet Hungary in the preliminary round. Luca, thank you very much for your help. Thank you and good luck to all the teams. Thank you and good luck to you too. Good luck, thank you so much. So to summarize, spot one, let's see. Group A, Slovenia. Group B, Portugal and Hungary. Group C, Croatia. Group D, Germany. Group E, Spain and Czech Republic. Group F, Norway and Slovakia. Going on with the player interviews, next is Bence Banhidi from the national team of Hungary. We were curious about playing on home court is always special. What can the Hungarian fans expect from the team? Are the Hungarians aiming for medals at home court? Which team would he like to play against or avoid? I am really excited before the domestic European Championship at Hungary. It will be the greatest experience of my life and uh, I hope uh, we will play uh, full of uh, arena in our new arena. 
what uh, they built for us and uh, I hope we can win a lot of games in this new arena. I think we have a good team and we show to everybody in the last two years how we can play and I hope we will play good in the European Champions and of course uh, we will play for the medals because at home uh, I think we have more chance than, uh, than before. Oh, this is a difficult question, but uh, I think we have chance against everybody because uh, our coaches uh, always prepare us uh, uh, for, the, for the team. Uh, they show us a lot of videos and uh, the tactic is really important for us. But I think uh, mm, we, we will play against Spain because I like to play against uh, them. And uh, I hope we will not play against Norway because in the last few years uh, we didn't play so good against them and they have a really good team. Thank you for being here with us, Bence, and welcome to the draw. And now we would like to take the opportunity to congratulate Hungary for winning the EHF Euro Cup. Congratulations to you and to the whole national team. Congratulations. Thank you. And now, let's continue the draw with part two. The following six teams feature in part two. Sweden, Russia, Serbia, Hungary, Denmark and Austria. So, all eyes on Bence. Please pick the first red ball. Russia. Russia is waiting for their group. In just a few seconds, we will find out which group Russia is playing the preliminary round. Mr. President, please pick a blue ball. Goes to group F. Group F. So Norway, Slovakia, the other host nation and Russia are going to compete. Let's see the next one from the teams. And the next team is Austria. Austria. And we are waiting for just a group from the blue balls. Let's see the group of Austria. Goes to group D. Group D, so Austria will join to Germany in Group D. Still three more teams in part two. Sweden, Denmark and Serbia. Let's see which one. It is Serbia. Serbia is waiting for their group. Just a few moments and we will find out. goes to Group C. Group C. So Serbia, Croatia, two teams in Group C so far. And there are just two teams and two groups. It is Sweden. Sweden. So Sweden is either going in Group A or Group E. Exciting moments for Sweden. goes to group E. Group E. So, defending champions Spain and the Czech Republic are going to meet with Sweden in the preliminary round. It's an educated guess that it's going to be Denmark, but we can never find, we never know until we open it. It is Denmark. Denmark, it, the world champion. Good news. And the last blue ball goes to group A. Group E, Slovenia 
in this group. With Denmark. Thank you very much, Bense. Great You're job. Welcome. And good luck for you and the whole team at the Euro. Thank you. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you. And now let's summarize the board so far of the pot two. So in group A, we have Slovenia and Denmark. In group B, Hungary is going to meet Portugal. Group C, Croatia, Serbia. Group D, Germany, Austria. Group E, Spain, Sweden, Czech Republic. And group F, Norway, Russia and Slovakia so far. We are already halfway but the draw, but before we continue with the second half, let's hear Marian Zernovic from the national team of Slovakia. We are curious about what does hosting an EHF Euro do for Slovakian handball? What are the goals for the Slovakian team? Which team would he like to have in his preliminary round group? It means uh, it is very much for us. Uh, we want to show to our country, to our kids, to our next generation that handball is a really nice sport. And uh, we also have to show that we know to play handball, that uh, Slovakia has still the good, good handball players. We don't have any special goals. We, we need to show everything. We have to fight on every quadrimeter and it's our goals to, to play nice handball. And, uh, and to make uh, from, this, uh, not, uh, not, uh, from this great uh, competition uh, one really good party for everybody, for us, for fans, and for everybody who will come. I think that in the European Championship is uh, every team really strong, so we, we don't think about our opponents, we think about us. And uh, uh, like I said, it, everything is in us and we want to show what is, what is inside. Thank you, Marianne, for the kind greetings and welcome on stage. Let's move on to the draw of the pot three. Let's see the teams. Slovakia, Iceland, France, Belarus, Czech Republic and North Macedonia. First of all, please, Marianne, choose a red ball. France. France. We are looking for a group from the blue balls. Goes to group C. Group C. It's a very exciting group with Croatia, Serbia and France. Next red one. Great job. Three more teams. Iceland. Iceland is the next team to find out which group they get for the preliminary round. Still three more options. Goes to group B. So Portugal, Hungary and Iceland. Only one more there to go as well. Three groups already, three teams already chosen. Another red ball. Belarus. Belarus, the next team. And the next group is... Goes to group D. Group D. So Germany, Austria and Belarus in this group. We're not expecting too many surprises now. North Macedonia. North Macedonia, part three. And that should really say. Goes to group A. Group A, exactly. So Slovenia, Denmark and North Macedonia for group A with part three that's complete thank you very much and good luck you. for your whole team and yourself thank you very much. thank you so much and good luck marianne so let's summarize part three in the group a slovenia denmark north macedonia in group b portugal hungary iceland in group c croatia serbia france 
Group D, Germany, Austria, Belarus. Group E, Spain, Sweden, Czech Republic. And Group F, Norway, Russia and Slovakia. We are now going to the last players' greetings of today. Let's have a look at the questions we had for the last EHF Euros winner, Rodrigo de Wall Corrales. Who does he mostly look forward to play against? Who will step up to be the new leader of the Spanish national team? Does he think Spain can go for the hat-trick and win the EHF Euro for the third time in a row? So it's, it's not so easy to choose one, one team to play against because I think the level in this championship is, is really high. But I would like just to play against Hungary because now I'm playing here and it's, it's such a great team and just I can't imagine just if, if of course it's chances to play with people, just to see the full arenas, how the people live with patience here. So it will be really interesting to face against Hungary because of many things, but one of them to see these full arenas and to enjoy the people cheering. This is the team that I will choose to play against. So it's going to be really difficult to, to choose for us one leader. It's true that probably after, after this uh, Olympic Games that we are having in summer, maybe some of, the, of our players, they are going to, to end a career in national team or even in their clubs. So that's why it, it's going to be interesting to see how the new generations they are coming. But it's really difficult to choose one player because uh, at the end in Spain, we are really a team that we play really collective, we respect each other, the teammates. So for me, the best and our secret is that we are really a team, that we count with every, every of our players. And to say one, to be honest, maybe our leader could be Alex Dushivaev. As I said before, probably some of our players, they are going to retire after the end of the season. Let's see, because maybe some of them also they continue, but in case that they retire, uh, we, we need to change some players, make a new generation change and let's see how, how it works, how we can challenge this, this Euro and why not, we, our team, it's, uh, what we are going to play always is, is just to, to be there, to try to win and at the end it's about to be competitive and let's see how we can manage to, to compete in, in this European Cup and I hope that we can be there, even that it's going to be really, really hard. Thank you, Rodrigo, and welcome at the draw. So now we can ease the suspense for the six teams in part four, and we will then know the final schedule of the preliminary round. The countries are Netherlands, Ukraine, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Poland and Lithuania. Six more balls. Let's see the first red one. We start with Poland. Poland will be the first country in pot four to find out their groupings. goes to group D. D. So group D is finalized Germany, Austria, Belarus and Poland. Okay. Let's see the next one. Next team is Lithuania. Lithuania. And we will see which group or Lithuania. Goes to group F. Group F. To Norway, Russia, Slovakia. And the last one is Lithuania. Next one. Still four more teams waiting for their group. Montenegro. Montenegro. few seconds away from finding out where they start their Euro. Goes to group 
A. Group A. So, Slovenia, Denmark, North Macedonia and Montenegro are finalizing Group A. Rodrigo? And just there are three teams. The Ukraine. Ukraine, the next one. And we are waiting for a group. Ukraine. Goes to group C. It's group C. Croatia, Serbia, France and Ukraine. Two more teams, two more groups. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina is either going to group B or group E. A few seconds and we'll find out. Goes to group E. So Spain, Sweden, Czech Republic and Bosnia and Herzegovina are finalizing group E. And I have a guess where Netherlands goes, but let's check if it is Netherlands. <laughs> The Netherlands. It is the Netherlands. Good news. Now to be 100% finished, we need to have open one more blue ball. Goes to group B. So Portugal, Hungary, Iceland and Netherlands is finalizing our draw. Thank you very much, Rodrigo, and good luck to your lovely thank team. Thank you very much and good luck to everyone. It was great having you here. Good luck. Thank you. A special thank you to Michael Vidor and Martin, ha Martin Hausleitner. And of course, a big thank you to our four big star players, Marian Zernovic, Pence Banhidi, Luka Stepancic and Rodrigo Colales, who showed their support today. Thank you very much for helping us and being here with us. Thank you so much. This completes the draw of the groups for the men's EHF Euro 2022, which take place between the 13th and the 30th of January, January 2022. Let's have a look at the table now. In Group A, we find Slovenia, Denmark, North Macedonia and Montenegro. In Group B, Portugal, Hungary, Iceland and Netherlands. Group C, Croatia, Serbia, France and Ukraine. Group D, Germany, Austria, Belarus, Poland. In Group B, we find Spain, Sweden, Czech Republic and Bosnia and Herzegovina. And in Group F, Norway, Russia, Slovakia and Lithuania. We wish all the teams good luck for the preliminary round at the EHF Euro 2022. Now that we are now the groups, it is a time to reveal the surprise for the players that we have mentioned at the beginning of the event. Guys, I, I have a little surprise for you. I'm sure that our upcoming kings can score many goals with these beautiful select balls. Before we finally close the draw, we will see how the journey of the golden plate to Budapest was. We are ready for men's EHF Euro 2022.
I am happy to see that the plate has made it safely here in Budapest. The president of the Hungarian Handball Federation will make sure to keep it in a safe place. We have now come to the end of the final tournament draw of the men's EHF Euro 2022. Results of the draw are available and can be found on the EHF media platforms. To keep up with the latest news and information about the event, please sign up for the EHF Euro newsletter on our official website eurohandball.com and keep a close eye on our social media channels for regular updates. For example, you can have a vote on your favorite name for our championship mascot. Will you go Pranky, Tricky or Goldie? I will definitely go for Pranky, but I haven't voted yet, so I will have to do that. On behalf of the European Handball Federation, thank you to our handball family for joining us today. Take care of each other, of yourselves, and stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.